Travis Kelsey is the best tight end in the NFL right now, but achieving this involved twists and turns that fans may not know about. From being a telemarketer to a reality TV star to giving back to the community, Travis Kelsey has done it all on his way to becoming a legend. Although he's the best player in the game at tight ends, if it was up to Kelsey, he'd be lining up in a different spot. See, growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, Kelsey played quarterback for his high school. And not only did he love doing so, he was very good at it too. As a senior, Kelsey earned all Lake Erie League honors while recording 2,539 total yards of offense. He threw for 1,523 yards and 21 touchdowns while mixing in 1,016 rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. Having thrived in high school playing QB, Kelsey wanted to continue playing the position in college for the University of Cincinnati, and getting to play QB was actually part of Cincy's recruiting pitch to Kelsey. After redshirting as a freshman for the Bearcats, Kelsey became the team's Wildcat quarterback. That season, he was used primarily in practice and in actual games only recorded eight rushes for 47 yards and two touchdowns without attempting a pass. But in practice, Kelsey was making a name for himself at QB. A former Cincinnati wide receiver said, it was all Travis's world, whatever he wanted to do back there. What he did was crazy, but it worked because we all trusted his athleticism. While Kelsey's redshirt sophomore campaign was supposed to be his time to show the rest of the college football world his skills, he never got the chance to do so, and he only had himself to blame for that. Because before the season began, Kelsey was kicked off the team for failing a drug test for marijuana. Lucky for him, he had an older brother, Jason, who also played football for the Bearcats. Jason went to bat for his younger bro and begged the school and coaching staff to give Travis another chance. As a senior, Jason was an established and respected member of the team, so he was promising everyone that he would personally look after Travis and get him back on the right path. And Jason didn't take this promise lightly, as he put a second bed in his room so that Travis would have to sleep by him and stay out of trouble. Thanks to Jason's vow to help his brother, the school and football program decided to decrease Travis's punishment to only a one-year suspension. After reflecting on what all went down, Travis said, I owe Jason so much credit for doing that and putting his name on the line for me to be able to finish my career at Cincinnati. It was something that I cherish so much, it's hard to explain to people, to be honest. But during his time away from the football team, Travis was desperate to find something to occupy himself and put some money in his pockets. So instead of being the big man on campus chasing his NFL dream, he took a telemarketing job where he made $8 an hour to sit in a tiny cubicle and conduct surveys on Obamacare, where apparently people were regularly yelling at him about how the government was stealing their money. It was an experience that often left Kelsey feeling depressed and was quite the wake-up call for him. Kelsey said, All I had been doing is playing outside, playing sports my entire life. I had never sat down and tried to earn a living like that. That's not to hit on anybody's 9 to 5. That's just not for me. Kelsey was right that a 9 to 5 wasn't for him, because in 2013, he was drafted by the Chiefs in the third round with the 63rd pick. But Travis was not the first Kelsey to hear his name called at the draft, as two years earlier during the 2011 draft, Jason received the honor. With the 191st overall pick in the sixth round, the Eagles took Jason. And he has thrived at the center position for Philly from the moment they drafted him, becoming the first rookie in franchise history to start all 16 games at center. From there, Jason has only further established himself as a beloved figure to Eagles fans. He played an integral role in 2018 when the Birds won their first ever Super Bowl. That season was part of an absolutely dominant stretch by Jason, who was named a first-team All-Pro in four out of five seasons from 2017 to 2021. He has also made the Pro Bowl five times during his career. Not only did Jason set the standard for how Travis should carry himself in college, but he did it again at the next level. And Travis did follow in Jason's footsteps in the NFL, establishing himself as one of the league's next young stars. But he also became famous for an entirely separate reason from football. See, in 2016, he starred in a dating show on E! called Catching Kelsey. The show was essentially a sports version of The Bachelor, as 50 eligible women from around the country tried to win over the tight end's heart. It began with each woman having 60 seconds to make a memorable first impression on Kelsey, who then narrowed the group down to 20. After that, Kelsey decided each week who would stay and go, while cycling through different types of dates. By the end of it, Kelsey wound up with a woman by the name of Maya Benberry. 
However, there was no fairy tale ending in store for Kelsey and Ben Barry, who just a few months after the show's finale aired, announced their split. And Kelsey displaying a lack of fear and putting himself out there is not unique to his time in reality TV. It's also evident on the football field during extremely contentious moments. In last year's all-time classic of an AFC divisional round game between the Chiefs and Bills, Buffalo led by three with just eight seconds remaining and the ball on KC's 44-yard line. As the Bills called a timeout and the Chiefs drew up a play to try to set up a game-tying field goal, Kelsey decided to take matters into his own hands. He told his quarterback Patrick Mahomes that he knew where there would be an opening in the defense and he'd run there, rather than running the specific route for the play that was called. So once both teams were set for the play, viewers at home could loudly hear Mahomes from the shotgun repeatedly telling Kelsey to do it. Without any hesitation whatsoever, Kelsey obliged and ran his own route that resulted in a 25-yard gain and set up the game-tying field goal perfectly. And let's just say, the list of players that would have the courage to throw out the play the coach called with their season on the line is probably extremely short. Growing up, Kelsey had a goal he constantly thought about, and although he eventually achieved it, things didn't go exactly according to plan. One of his lifelong dreams was to throw a pass in the NFL. Ever since he was a kid, he envisioned doing so, and that it would be for a touchdown. And during a 2017 Week 11 matchup with the Giants, Kelsey finally had a chance to live out this dream. With the game tied in the fourth quarter, the Chiefs called a play where Mahomes threw a screen to Kelsey, who could then either run the ball or hit another receiver down the field. Travis being Travis didn't even consider the possibility of running the ball and was dead set on letting it fly. After evading a few New York defenders, Kelsey unleashed a 50-plus yard bomb down the field with a perfect spiral. However, there was one problem. The pass landed in the hands of giant safety Landon Collins. After waiting and dreaming for countless years, Kelsey's first career NFL pass was an interception. Fortunately for Kelsey and the Chiefs, Travis has been able to accomplish a handful of his other goals that involve doing things nobody at his position has ever done before. Among NFL tight ends, Kelsey reached the following career receiving yard milestones in the fewest number of games. 6,000 yards in 91 games, 8,113 games, and 9,127 games. He also holds the record for most 1,000 receiving yard seasons with six and set another one at the same time by doing it in consecutive seasons from 2016 through 2021. In 2020, Kelsey also broke the record for most receiving yards by a tight end in a single season with 1,416. That was one of two seasons in which he had over 100 receptions, which is another tight end record. And this list of records will only grow over time as Kelsey is still in his prime. When it's all said and done, there is little doubt that he will hold the holy grail record of most career receiving yards by a tight end. Due to Kelsey making so much history in so little time, he's already etched his name into league lore outside of just the record books. In his first seven seasons, Kelsey was elected to five Pro Bowls and four All-Pro selections while having four seasons of at least 85 receptions and one with more than 100. He racked up 507 receptions for 6,465 yards and 37 touchdowns. Thanks to this dominant start to his career, the Pro Football Hall of Fame Selection Committee in 2020 voted to include him on the NFL's All-Decade team for the 2010s. Kelsey was just one of two tight ends to be included, joining another legend in Rob Gronkowski. For Kelsey to be included despite only playing in seven seasons during the decade speaks volumes to what he was able to accomplish at the beginning of his career. Pro Bowls and All-Pro selections are obviously nice, but making an All-Decade team is an honor that so few players receive and one that Kelsey has a very good chance of receiving twice. While there's no debating Kelsey's on-field greatness and accomplishments, he's simultaneously been striving to leave just as much of an impact, if not more, off the field. In 2015, Kelsey founded his own charity organization called 87 and Running. Kelsey started the charity because of what he saw during his own childhood. Having grown up in the very diverse suburb of Cleveland Heights, Ohio, Kelsey noticed that some of his closest friends didn't have the same family structure that he did and weren't able to enjoy the same experiences. As a kid, even Kelsey himself struggled in school and lacked the motivations to keep going. So he wants to provide opportunities and mentorship to the kids growing up in similar situations. Through fundraising and initiatives, the organization aims to give these kids a chance to succeed in life. It focuses on supporting and educating them in various subjects, such as education, 
business, athletics, STEM, and the arts. And Kelsey has said, our youth today are the future. They are our best investment, and it is never too soon to start planning for success. It's inspiring to see how far Kelsey has come from being that immature college kid who almost threw away his football career before it could even get started.